Welcome and welcome to Glencoe and welcome to the side of the Anach Igach Ridge, the jagged ridge of Glencoe, the Anach Igach. I'm on the side of it at the minute. Now I did say I'm going to show you something that's never ever really been photographed before. And yes, incorporating a lovely stream to it. This is a panoramic shot, possibly a five or six shot image for this one here, but still makes a bloody good shot. I am going to push further up the stream and show you more of this location and then I'm going to push down and show you some more of Glencoe. So let me just bring you in a bit closer. Alrighty then, let me just talk you through my image. There's the back of my camera. Look at this, I've got the stream just coming in the bottom left here. All I've been doing is this pano in this around here and I've stitched these all together. F11, ISO 100. I've been down to one tenth of a second on that, so yeah, look at that, one eighth of a second. It's not blowing the sky out as much. I don't know whether or not to clone this road out or not down at the bottom here. We'll see how the image turns out. But yeah, I am capturing that water nice and smoothing it out just a touch, so I make it nice and dramatic. And the clouds are turning out really nice. 0.6 grad in for that sky as well. But what a shot, huh? Plain and simple. But yeah, like I said, use some mountain savvy for this one. It is uh, quite a location to uh, traverse across. But uh, yeah, anyway, I'll see you around here. I'm going to have a little scout about. Alrighty, welcome back. Uh, yes, uh, for that location, which is over there, just around the corner in a little gully, um, that stream, I pushed up, lovely stream but you need it in full spite because you wasn't really getting uh, the views onto the sisters themselves. Okay, check this view out though. Look at that. Lovely tree there in the background, lone tree. I'm framing it so it's coming in from the left hand side, this V here coming down the side. And then I'm bringing it all the way around, a nice panoramic shot of the sisters, then into that other V behind me looking down into the glen. It's about six seven shot panoramic this one. Easy peasy this one and uh, straightforward just panning around 0.6 grad ISO 100 F14 for that one and uh, I was dropping down to F11 but exposure in the clouds was uh, quite uh, too much for the dynamic range of the lens I got on for that 16 to 35 F4. But Yes, side of the uh, Anakigach Ridge, really, really nice. Um, I'm going to show you possibly one more further on the start of the Anakigach. You don't have to walk too far up the steps and it's good for your, for your light trails. But uh, we'll see and uh, I'm going to push down lower ground, get some nice dramatic shots for you. Bye for now. So as you can tell, I've uh, pushed down from the Anakigach now. It's getting a tad windy, so safety first and all that guys and uh, I'll push down and uh, I'll push behind the little mound and I'm going to bring you in a bit closer and I'm going to run you up and show you exactly where I am to give you your bearings where I am anyway. So I've got some lovely little rocks just in front of me as my foreground panning it round six shot panoramic for this one ISO 100 got a grad in really moody skies today and this it well the images from today should look quite spectacular really, really dark and moody and all I'm doing is swinging it around and it actually cuts off the roads and the car park. Now I'm going to come forward and bring you in. Okay, so as you can tell, 
just behind me here got a little tiny mound rocks from a foreground obviously the three sisters in the background now if I run forward just on this mound I'll show you exactly where I am right next to the car park really really simple and it just cuts out the road the car park the sky today really 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 dark and moody really uh, nice okay that's me done this side of the hill I wished uh, where I was up on the uh, the gullies here of the Anakigak I wish the, the rivers and streams were a bit more in spate hardly any water at the minute but can't have it all can we okay let's get down let's get some more shots see you in a wee while well as you can tell I am at the bottom of well the heart of Glencoe really uh, looking back into uh, the Glen itself so I'm gonna get uh, my waders on now and get into the stream which is just in, right in front of the bridge just down here next to the white cottage white cottage is across there but I'm gonna get into the stream get some nice dramatic shots of some falls looking back up to uh, bit in Nambian up there and hopefully this should be quite dramatic nice dramatic sky anyway uh, nice and moody so let's get my waders on and I'll speak to you in a minute okay look at this looks like I'm going fishing just like a set of dungarees isn't it well I like to stay dry when I'm in rivers and tend to not get my feet wet because I hate getting my feet wet when I'm in rivers Let's get down there, get my kit on, and uh, I'll see you down there. And uh, hopefully get some nice shots. Come on, let's go. So all I'm doing here, is getting this shot uh, portrait mode at f14 all the way down to f9 i'm shooting as well one tenth of a second iso 100.6 grab on for the sky and it's just a lovely lovely leading line coming round and you've got a cascade leading you in all the way in to bidding lambian up the, all right at the top lovely uh, cascade this uh, river co is just perfect at the minute. Uh, I'm going to push down, find some more, and then uh, hopefully they turn out really, really nice. Pretty good shot, that. That's pretty deep down there as well. Uh, yeah. So, see you next one. Okay, so you can see where I am on the River Co. Just uh, above the uh, the Clackaig Main Falls. Main Falls are way down there. But I find this, especially uh, these falls here, just guiding you in to the Glen itself is a lot better than the Clackaig Falls down at the uh, bit, about another 150 metres down the River Co. But this area here, super really is and you really have to uh, catch the uh, the water levels at the right height for this place because if it's in full spate you'll never get to where I am you can actually get to where I am stood on this little rock here uh, without waders but I've got to get down there get in there and get some really nice shots nice foreground here with that rock as well just cascading around it so I'll leave this up and running Let's get some images. So the way I've done this, I've got that rock just there in front of us. And I could do one of the sisters there up on the right hand side. Then on the left, the Anakigak, 
just framing the image nicely. Oh, this wind is definitely picking up, that's for sure. And it makes a really nice moody image. F11, one tenth of a second. Oh, beautiful. Nice moody skies for that. There we go. So I know for a fact there is a ledge just the other side of me, just down here. So I don't want to go too far. It does drop down quite deep. But saying that, look at that in front of me. Definitely worth it for this shot. Just gonna spread my legs on a tripod, nice and even. Oh, look at that. Finish shot, F11, ISO 100, a 0.6 grad for that sky. Really, really bring it out. Circular polarizer on, bring that water glare off. Right in front of that. Focus on that rock over there. Let's have a look at that shot. Woohoo! Nice. Very, very nice. Just guiding you in from the bottom left hand side of the frame. Really, really nice. Okay, that is me done here. I'm going to cover one more location. It doesn't look like it's going to be much of a sunset. It's actually going to start to rain in a bit, I think. So, uh, probably do another location there in Elkhorn today, folks. See you well. Alrighty, so I'm at the uh, the Claque, uh Falls. I do like this location, but it is being well overshot. Now, I am going to try a nice panoramic of this, possibly starting from this side, working my way round. But oh man, that's so tempting just to get down there and looking up, capturing them falls. But that just looks way too powerful and I'm not that stupid that's for sure okay let's get set up all right I think that is it right down on the edge here Lots and lots of spray here as well. This is one of the reasons why I don't like shooting here. It is a nice location, but lots of spray, lots and lots of spray. Oh, here comes the rain now as well. Okay, let's go for it. 16 mil, one eighth of a second. Oh, the rain's getting heavier. Anyway, this is definitely a moody shot for sure. I think I might have a few dust spots on this one. Well, rain spots anyway. Well, folks, it's been a pleasure uh, showing you and trying to create this video for you. Especially showing you the side of the Anakigak Ridge. It's a shame there wasn't more uh, water flow coming down. I would have liked that a bit more. But still, uh, this part of Glencoe, uh, I've not really covered vlogging anyway, but shot this many, many times. Uh, here comes the rain now, just in time. Hope you like the video. Do hit that like, subscribe, and uh, enjoy the images, and I'll see you again in the highlands of Scotland soon. Bye for now.
uh, the wind is picking up, that's why I've pushed down from the Anarchy Gak. Far too dangerous uh, to be up there on the uh, ridge line here now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Just about caught that. 